Well, hello everyone. Uh, again, I just want to thank Adam and Dan for bringing me up here and uh, I'm ex very excited to be speaking again and for those of you that were here yesterday, uh, appreciate all the feedback and I, I had a really good time. Um, as uh, Adam said, this is my 18th year coaching at the collegiate or professional level. Um, I love what I do. I'm very excited. I'm very passionate. Um, you'll notice today I, I go kind of quick, so I will make sure that I save some time at the end for questions or redemonstrations uh, and just kind of hopefully answer any questions that you have and give you guys some good takeaways. Uh, to build on what I spoke about yesterday. So yesterday we talked a lot about how to incorporate actions into your offensive system. So ball screens, off ball screens, uh, dribble handoffs, things like that. How do we use those in our offense based on the personnel that you have, the strengths that you have with your team, um, and then you know some breakdown drills and things to really get your players comfortable with playing out of those actions. And as I mentioned yesterday, the biggest thing that I've learned in the last you know four or five years, especially in being a head coach, is those actions are great. They disorganize the defense. They get us a little bit of an advantage. But what happens next? And you know, there's three other players on the court. What actions are they doing? Are they where are they cutting? Where are they moving? How are they screening? And you know, a lot of times, and I was talking with a coach earlier. You know, this action happens, and the other three players just kind of stand there and wait for something to happen, a shot to go up, a turnover to happen, um, something's going to break down. And what do these three players need to do in order to help make the play successful? Because um, I think Coach, Coach mentioned yesterday, plays, plays are going to break down. Um, and so what your players are able to learn and do and react when something you know, breaks down or when things don't go as they're supposed to do, uh, you know, what are we going to do? And so today I'm really going to focus on talking about this off-ball action and the spacing uh, in the half court. And then we're going to build it out to the full court and then we're going to come back and finish in the half court. Um, and so I think the biggest thing, and you, I don't know if you'll agree with me, but for me, even at the Division I collegiate level, is players lack any kind of awareness. They will literally be standing right next to their teammate and have no idea that their teammate is there. Um, and we'll stop the action and be like, did you know so-and-so was right next to you? And she'll be like, no. I had no idea she was standing there. And so just getting them to understand where their teammates are, how do they move in relation to their teammates, how do they move in relation to the ball, um, how can they get themselves a shot. Uh, yeah, I was watching film with one of our you know, best shooters the other day, and you know, just showing her that she was spotting up here when the action was happening or the penetration was happening, and had she taken two or three more steps to her left, that would have gotten her an open shot. But she stayed where she was, and on the catch, she was guarded. And just those three steps are the difference between our best shooter getting a wide open three and our best shooter being con guarded. And so that's what we're going to really, uh, you know, I'm going to show you a bunch of drills today and things that we talk about and teaching points that we emphasize to hopefully ha help your players understand how to move uh, with, without the basketball. Uh, so that being said, let's get, let's get to it. So I need two lines. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Yeah, all of you. I need a line up top and a line on the wing. Balls up top. Two lines, try to kind of balance your line. So one, one up top, and you can scoot back a little bit. Just give your, scoot back a little bit, give yourself a face, and then scoot out a little bit. Yeah, I know, I know. After lunch is kind of rough. I'm gonna start you guys in the half court before I make you run up and down, because I don't, I, don't, I don't want anything bad to happen. All right, so this is the very basic, we call this string shooting. Okay, so this is our two-person string shooting drill. So the reason why we call ball starts up here, we're going to pass to the wing. Go ahead, pass. Okay, you're going to catch and look at the basket. No, don't, nope, don't move. Okay, starting off, you're going to attack middle. Okay, so you're going to catch, look at the basket, and then you're going to attack hard to the middle like you're trying to get to the rim. Okay, now... You two are on a string, hence the name string shooting, okay? So as he moves, 
you got to keep this string the same. So as he moves, that's when you move and you're spacing away. Okay? Now, you're attacking middle, get two feet in the key, space away. Okay? You're going to jump stop or two, one, two, making a right handed push pass, and that's a shot. And that's all we're doing right now. So we're just going to pass, we're going to attack hard at the basket. Okay? And again, we teach, so when we stop here, we want a right handed push pass because we want the ball on the outside of the body. So defense is on the inside, so it's either going to be right handed push pass or they're going to bring their left hand to the ball and make that pass just so we're not swinging the ball across the middle of our body right where the defender is. Okay? And then rebound your own shot, go to the end of the line, and then the next group goes on the shot. Questions? We good? All right, here we go. Good, okay, good. Go, go on the shot. Good. No, I just want you to catch and shoot. Just make shots, guys. Good, way to talk. Good. Eyes to the rim when you attack, eyes to the rim. Here we go, here we go, good passes. Good, kick. Good, nice pass. Good, hold up, hold up. Oh, last one, last one. All right, hold up. All right, so a couple of things. Again, just points of emphasis for us. Now, what we want to teach is one, eyes to the rim, and you are attacking to score. Okay, so every time you attack you, you're thinking, I'm going to the basket. You have to visualize that the defender's cutting you off, and now you're making the pass to your teammate. Or that teammate's defender helped over, and now we're making that kick. Okay? Again, and for us, the reason why uh, you'll see in all these kind of string shooting drills as we build it up, we like catch and shoot shots. Okay? We believe that shots off the catch are the most effective shot. Well, Layups are number one, okay? And then shots off the catch are what we want to get uh, in the half court. Rather than off the dribble, they're just a higher efficiency shot for us. Um, so that's kind of why we, we do these drills and kind of emphasize that. So let's go, so move your, you guys are scooting out on me. Let's get up. Okay, so this time you're gonna pass. Now you're attacking baseline. Okay, so go ahead and where do you go? Okay, so on this, and again, just a couple of teaching points for us. So we're attacking baseline, and again, our goal is to get to the rim. So anytime we attack, we're going with the intent that we're going to score. Okay, we don't get to the basket, defense rotates over. Okay, we're going to reverse pivot, we want to keep our back to the defender, and then make this pass out. Okay, and I forgot to talk about, and some of you guys did a good job, is the other thing is communication. Okay, so whatever you call this, we call it a fill behind, you can call it a 45, you can call it wing, whatever you guys want to call this, just let your teammate know where you're getting to so he knows who to pass to. All right? We good? All right, here we go. Good, good. Or ball. <laughs> wing, 45, fill behind. Good. They like ball. <laughs> all right, all right. Is that what you guys call it? Or do you call it, you just call it ball? Good. All right, hold up. All right, now this time, you can attack either direction. Okay, so if you want to go baseline, you're the fill behind. If he goes middle, then you're spacing away to the weak side wing, which is, again, 45 wing. Okay, so go ahead. You can't move, though, until he goes. Good. Good, go. Nice. Good, good talk. Nice. Try to pivot the other way. Back to the defense. Nice, nice pass. 
Now they're saying 45. We got it. Good. Good job. Hold up. Knock it down. Oh. All right. So again, okay, biggest things in two-person string shooting. Again, we're going to build this out. Just stay where you guys are. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is uh, getting them to react to the ball. Okay. So the, what sometimes they'll do, you guys did a pretty good job, is they'll start to space away before the ball handler has even started their dribble yet. Okay. And so that's why, again, adding that they can go either direction so that they have to wait and see where the ball handler goes kind of starts to build the action once you've kind of taught the initial part. Um, but, and then once the ball handler does start their drive, is sprinting to relocate. Um, not getting caught in that gray area. They want to hold their position and then sprint to a spot. And then hold their position, sprint to a spot. Um, just to try to create space a little bit more effectively. So let's go ahead, let's add a third line. So let's get a line up top and a line on each wing. Quickly, balance your lines. So there's like four or five of you in each line, I think. Start the ball on the right side. Ball's on the right. And scoot out a little bit more. We're doing spacing, so scoot out a little bit more. Okay. And one other thing, we'll talk about this a little bit more when we get to the full court. Uh, but when we talk about spacing, we kind of want to talk about the depth and the width of the court. All right. So lane line to sideline lane line to lane line, and then lane line to sideline on that side. Okay, so that's kind of the width of the court. And then we talk about the depth of the court, so a little bit above the free throw line area to the baseline, and then same thing, getting to half court. We don't really want to have two people occupying that same space. So if we have a player, let's say, take one more step to your left. Okay, there, and I'm the other player, and he's that high. I don't necessarily want to be occupying this same area. I need to find a way to get into another set of space. So now, okay, I'm now in the lane line. He's lane line to sideline. I'm more in the middle. Okay, now I've created more space. Sometimes creating space is just coming higher. Okay, so... Now, we're still both lane line to sideline, but now I've taken the, de uh, the depth of the court, <clears throat> excuse me, and I've created more space by coming higher. Um, so that's kind of, again, just in the half court, how we try to think about the, the depth and the width and creating more space for the players to move and forcing the defense to guard more space. Um, again, our goal offensively is to gain space. The defense's goal is to take away space. So that's kind of some of the terminology that we use with our players, again, both in the half court and in the full court. So now we're going to build the three person, uh, the string shooting into three person string shooting. We're going to start with a skip pass. Again, we like to shift the defense. So the more we can uh, reverse the ball and get the defense shifting side to side, that's to our advantage offensively. Again, they have to then cover more space on fewer passes. So that's to our advantage. Uh, so we're going to start with a skip pass. Really? You throw a one handed skip pass? Are you left handed too? So you just wanted to throw a left-handed, all right, ball there. He's going to throw it with two hands this time, like as an overhead pass. There we go. Okay, so now on this, okay, you can attack, if you attack middle, okay, just like we just did, what do you two do? You're on a string. Yep, you're going all the way to the deep corner. You're going to the wing, okay? You can kick out to either one, catch and shoot, okay? So that's the first thing. Come back. Sorry, you can start with the ball. Okay, go ahead. Skip pass. Now, if you attack baseline. So, that's a tricky one. So, you're the fill behind. You still go to the corner. Yep. One, because that hammer look, always there. That's our probably... No, no, probably. Definitely our favorite pass, okay? So you're going, you're still going, because you're still on the same string. Like, you're still about the same as you when you started. You're in that corner, and you're the fill behind. You can still hit that one, or you can reverse pivot. 
to the outside, right? But yeah, there you go. But to the de defense and make that fill behind pass. Okay? Questions? You guys got that? So ball handler, you can go either direction. Again, let's make sure we talk. So ball handler, you can even communicate which direction you're going, your baseline or corner, your wing, 45, ball, whatever you guys want to say. Your rotations, you're rotating to your right. Okay, so you're going from that line to there. Yes, we good? Yes? Yes? All right, go. Here we go. Phil, 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 good, good, good. Next group, go, on the shot, next group goes. On the shot, next group goes. Oh, wow, here we go. We're gonna have to work on our overhead passes. Here we go, you guys. Next group, go, go. Skip pass, good, good. Space away, all the way to the deep corner. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go, you guys. Phil, 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 corner. Good. Good. Not bad, not bad. Now start talking. Let them know where you're doing. Talk it out, talk it out. Here we go, here we go. Good, nice, way to talk. Good. Hold up, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold up for a sec, hold up. Balance your lines, balance your lines. Real quick, get to a line. Okay, so, you guys tell me, what are some things you noticed that you went from the two person to the three person? What did you guys do differently? Or what did you find yourself doing differently? Anything? Yes, agreed. You would kind of anticipate where they were going a little bit, and then you'd be, you'd start to go one way, and then you'd be a little bit late going to where they went. Anybody else? Didn't talk as much. One or two people did, but as a group, not as much. Anybody else? No? All right, so a couple of things I noticed, and I agree with both of those, by the way, and stay where you are, we're gonna do it some more, okay? Um, there was definitely a thinking component, and again, I talked a little bit about this yesterday. It's a new drill, so there's going to be a little bit of a delay in the process because they're, they're catching the ball, processing the information, and then trying to figure out where they're supposed to go, and so that's completely natural, and as a coach, you just have to kind of know that. Um, give them a chance to feel it out, and then, you know, Brian talked about this a little bit earlier as far as feedback, let them feel it out, then kind of talk a little bit about what you want to emphasize, um, what you think is most important for the group, depending on the age level you're coaching, um, and then let them try the drill again. Uh, so for me, one of the things I noticed is we were hopping a lot instead of sprinting to a spot because they were thinking. So the ball would be there, and I'm here, and he'd start to go, and then I'd realize, okay, now I'm supposed to space away, and I'd kind of hop to where I'm going instead of sprinting because I was, one, processing the information and then making sure I was going to the right place. So again, just getting to a point where they can think a little bit quicker. So he goes, I sprint, I spot up, then I'm ready to catch and shoot instead of I'm still hopping and moving away as the ball is caught and then we're not on balance for a shot. Okay, so let's start the balls on this side. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna start with the skip pass on this side. Make sure you guys stay, again, spacing, stay wide. Ooh, one other thing, okay? Again, going back to depth and width of the court, make sure you guys use the deep corners. So almost all the way, to, no, not now, when you, sorry, my bad, when you, when you space away, so on the baseline drive, uh, you guys get all the way, yep, go ahead, show them, show them where you're at. That's what I'm, oh, even one more step, one more, nope, yep, all the way to that deep corner, okay? Because again, we talk about you're coming in here, we get down into this area, this pass is a pretty easy pass. That hammer pass, that spurs pass, whatever, drift pass, whatever you want to call it, okay? That's a pass we can make and we want to make. If you're three steps up, 
That's a really tough pass. Uh, one, it's a high level, high skill pass, and there's usually going to be more likely a defender in that angle. Um, so guys, that's kind of why it's important to get all the way to that deep corner, make the defense guard as much space as possible. You ready? All right, we're going to talk. Here we go. Ball in. Skip it. Go. Baseline. That's all right. See? Processing. Here we go. Here we go. Go ahead. Good, good. Deep corner. Good. Shot. Nice. Next group. Next group. Skip pass. Good. Corner. Good. Nice. Next group. Go. Way to help him out. I like the teamwork. Good. Nice. Way to be there. Good job, you guys. Two more. Two more. Hang on. Oh, whoa, whoa. We were all kinds of confused. Go again, go again. Here we go, you guys. Clean it up. Wait till he goes. You can't move till the ball handler moves. Space away. Space, space. Go again, go again, go again. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it right. Hey. So listen, again, so just going back to the basic concept, okay, string shooting. So again, just think about, I'm on a string with the ball, okay? So I'm here, the ball moves, I got to keep that string tight, okay? So just, I don't even know what a toy would be with string, but you're tight on a string, he starts to come close, I got to get that string tight again and space to a place where we can do that. Does that make sense? You with me? You sure? You going to get it? All right, let's go. Here we go, ball in. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I had a kid. Nice. Here we go. Two more. Two more. Go again. Go again. Go again. Get all the way to behind. Here we go. Good. Wait. Good. There you go. Nice. Good pass. Last one. Last one. Good. Good, Phil. All right, one more? Oh, we're going we're gonna to do more, don't worry. I got plenty. All right, so, guys, shh. They had a lot of sugar for lunch. They ate way too much of that candy. All right, so let's get, I need, um, actually, you can put all the balls down but one. All right, you're underneath then. And then let's move your line back a bit. Move your line back, and then start up. One of you on, and then same thing. You guys move your line back, but one person on. Move your line back, but one person on. Just move your line so you guys give each other space. All right, so now we're just adding a very, very simple read, okay? Um, you can throw it to either wing, so go ahead, just kind of roll it out to either wing, and then you are gonna run by either high side or low side. So you're just going to run right by. You just got to attack whichever side he doesn't run by. So if he attacked on that side, which side would you go to? Yep. Okay. And then same thing. We're just doing string shooting out of this. Now, after you run by, you're back in the play. Yep. So now it becomes four-person string shooting. Okay. So you're going to roll the ball out. Ball. Okay. Roll the ball out, I run by, he's here, okay, now I'm back in the play, yep, and depending on where he goes. So if he keeps going that way, I'm probably going to be here as the fill behind. You can either those two or back to me, okay, again, probably pivot the other way. Um, and then from there, we'll just go shot on the first one right now. We're just going to go catch and shoot still, okay? Yes? Are we good with that? So you can go to either side. All right, here we go. Um, and then, hang on, your rotations, whoever shoots the ball, you get the rebound and you become the person that rolls the ball out. Everybody else just fill a line. Cool? All right, ball in. Good, space away. Good, nice, shot. Good, rebound your own, you're the passer. Rebound your own, rebound your own, go. Rebound it, whoever shot it, rebounds. Everybody else fill a line and then go. Good. Good, rebound your shot, rebound your shot. Pass it and go, pass it and go. Go, go, go. Run by, 
Good. Now you're back in the play. Shot. Oh, got to get your feet ready. Rebound, rebound. Quickly, quickly. Good. 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 Go, go. Either side, either side. Run by. Good. Go again, go again, go again, go again. Same group, same group, same group. Give him some space. Good. Good. All right. So hold up for a second. So on a couple things. Well, you guys listen. You guys tell me. What did you notice? Did you notice? Did you notice anything different in that drill compared to the ones before? Yes. Yes. What else? Anything else? Did you guys talk at all? No, it was super quiet. Again, you're thinking a lot, okay? I can see your brain's going. So again, that would be one thing that again, we would continue to emphasize is them communicating, okay? So now they're moving, now they're thinking. Keep talking, because it helps them. It helps you have an awareness of where you should be going, and then it also helps your teammates know, because again, we're talking about spacing right now, and wanting to have good spacing. So if I'm communicating that I'm the fill behind, then my teammate knows that he should not be the fill behind. Because that kind of happened in the last one. We had, so the drive happened, we threw it out here. So throw it out here. And he went on the high side. You drove baseline. So he stayed in the play as the fill behind. And this top person, who is supposed to be the fill behind, didn't really know where to go, right? I don't know who it was. Was it you? I don't remember who it was. Whoever it was. Didn't really know where to go. You kind of were stuck here. So communicate that you're going to stay as the fill behind. I don't know if we saw that we were this close together. And again, we talk about with. There was only one person on this side. So even though I'm supposed to be the fill behind, I just want to create space. My, we already have a fill behind. I should go into a new area. Because that player went to the corner like they were supposed to. And now we've spread the floor. Does that make sense? Yeah, guys? All right. So let's try a couple more. So go ahead and start with the ball underneath. Good, 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 good. Nice. Atta kid. Nice. Good shot. Good job, you guys. Good group. Here we go. Ball out, ball out. Yeah. Good. Fill, fill, fill. Good. Nice. Rebound it, rebound it. Oh, look at now we're knocking down some shots. Here we go. Good. 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 Here we go, here we go. After you pass it, you're back in the play too. So pass and get outside the three-point line. Here we go. Good, way to talk to him. All right, last one, last one. Good, good. Now get out, good. All right, this time, now again, so one, very good job. You guys did a much better job that time. And you can kind of see, I'm going to say it was partially because they understood the drill a little bit better. Their spacing was a little bit better. Their feet were a little bit better on the, sh on the catch. And so we knocked down more shots, OK? So this time, we're going to do the same thing, excuse me, but we're going to add an extra pass. So after we attack and we kick it out, we got to make one more pass for the shot. You guys got that? Yeah? Questions? We good? OK. So make sure after you pass, you get back outside the three-point line and spot up. Here we go. Good. 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 One more, one more, one more. Kids. Here we go. Here we go. Ball underneath, ball underneath. Set it up, set it up. Here we go, ball in. Either side. Scoot back a little bit. Scoot back, guys. Here we go, ball in. Good, fill behind. Good, good talk. One more. Nice shot. That's okay. Now, that time you got to shoot. Yeah. Here we go. But rebound your own. Here we go. Kick it out, kick it out. Good. 
Good. Go. Rebound your own. Rebound your own. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good job, you guys. Go. Go. Rebound your own. Rebound your own. Keep talking. Keep talking. Good. Nice. So now you can kind of see they're getting the flow of it, and they're even kind of coaching themselves and taking a little bit of ownership, which is awesome. Uh, get back in the play. Get back in the play. Go ahead. One more. Run by, and then you're back in the play. Here we go. Two more. Two more. Good. Good. Nice extra pass. Good. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, so again, on this, you can continue to build out the drill. So you can go attack, kick, extra pass, extra pass, and then a shot. You can have them kick out and then attack again, and then kick out for a shot. Whatever you want to do just to get them constantly moving, relocating, trying to understand the depth and width of the court and where to go and have an awareness of where people are so that every time the ball moves or there's penetration, they have to move to an open spot. Um, so let's get, actually, you guys can sit down. Thank you very much. I am going to need five of you, however. Five of you stay. I need five to stay. Five. Just five. Yep. OK. So we're going to keep building. All right. So we added a small read. OK. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a decision, but it's a small read. So let's get two on defense with the ball, and then three on the perimeter. And you can be wherever you want on the perimeter, OK? Uh, so now we're, again, just building. Now we have two defenders, OK? So now there is going to be more of a decision-making component added to the drill. So you guys, you're going to pass to whoever you want. Offensively right now, OK? You have to try to get the most open shot you can. If you put the ball on the floor, you have to get two feet in the key, and it has to be a kick. Okay, so you can't put the ball on the floor to score. Every shot has to come off of a catch. Does that make sense? Yes. Right now, let's say, no, you have to stay. Once you put the ball on the floor and you pass, you have to get back outside the three-point line. Okay? So shots more or less have to be three-pointers off the catch. If you're not quite a three-point shooter, you can step in a little bit. Does that make sense? Questions? Okay. Defensively, you are just scrambling. Okay? You're just trying to contest every shot. They're just trying to move the ball, penetrate, and kick until they get the most open shot they can. Okay? Once the shot goes up, whoever shot the ball and whoever was the passer to the shooter, you become the defense. You two go to offense. Yes? Questions? All right. Let's, let's see how we do. Here we go. Good. Good. Run at it. Run at it. Good. Passer and shooter to defense. Passer and shooter to defense. Here we go. And then the other three out. Defense, you're just scrambling. Just scrambling as best you can. Good. Good. Not bad, not bad. Passer and shooter. Passer and shooter to defense. So passer and shooter. Everybody else outside the three. Here we go. Good. Hey, so hey, on his catch, so pass went there, and you stayed here. Try to short, yep, yep. Here we go, ball in. Good, good, nice. Ooh, good hands. Good idea, good idea. Here we go. Uh, so if you turned it over, go to defense. And then, yeah, that's fine. Ball in. Fill behind, fill behind. Good, good attack. Try to get two feet in the key. Good. Here you go, passer and shooter. When you, hey, when you put the, hold on. When you put the ball on the floor, try to get two feet in the key before you pass. Okay, here you go, ball in. Good, nice. Hey, hang on, hang on. How'd you feel about that shot? Yeah, me either. Pretty contested. Good. Good talk. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get two makes. Two makes, guys. Two makes. 
Try to get to the key. Good. Try to get to the key. Good, good. Good, nice. Good ball movement. Good. Passer and shooter, here we go. Quickly, quickly. Gotta hustle, hustle. Good, good. There you go. No. All right. It's a nice pass. It's all right, good. Okay, maybe let's just get one make. I'll go with one make. Here we go, guys. Good job, good job. Good, nice. Good shot, that's all right. Here we go, rotate, rotate. Good, get to the key, throw behind, throw behind. Good, good. You got it. Good, get to the key, throw behind, throw behind, throw behind. Now slide over. Again, just try to, hey, listen. Just try to think about your string shooting. So penetration happens, get there, ball gets passed, you gotta get back on that string. So you're gonna have to reshape over, okay, and try to go to where your teammate can make a pass and shorten that pass. Here we go, ball in. Good kick. Here we go, guys. I have faith. Nice, good decision. Last one, last one. All or nothing, right here. Good, good talk. All right, one more, one more. All right, last one. They're feeling it on this one. Good. Right there. Good job, you guys. Have a seat. Good job. Uh, so again, that's just, again, we're just kind of trying, we're building up from the basic concepts, the two-person string shooting, the three-person string shooting, then we add a little bit of a read and a fourth player, um, then we build it out to two defenders, and it's a little bit more of a live situation. You add defenders, that changes the shooting and the decision making, um, but they're still tr working on their uh, spacing and their string shooting concepts. Um, and a little bit more of a confined situation to where you can teach out of it. Um, the other thing, and if we have time at the end, we can kind of show uh, what we do with our string shooting is, uh, actually, no, let's go ahead and do it. Let's get, uh, Let's get four of you back out here with the ball. Or five. I like the excitement though. All right, so let's get, let, four is fine. All right, all right. Let's get three on the perimeter and one in the post. Three on the perimeter, one in the post. Ball up here. I need a post, like a post player. All right, you can be post, I don't care. Okay. So. I don't want to hate on post players, so I love post play, and I talked a little bit about this yesterday as one of our actions, okay? So when we do string shooting, we also want to incorporate a post player into our string shooting, because a lot of teams run a three out, two in, or a four out, one in, and so your slides are going to be need to incorporate your post player, okay? So on this right now, so we pass to the wing, okay? He drives baseline. Okay, so our three perimeter players, just like we just did, you drive baseline, okay? You're the fill behind. Where are you supposed to go? Yeah, all the way to the corner. Just like we just did. So it's just our string shooting. Now post player, yep. Okay, so if he drives baseline, you're gonna slide right up the lane, okay? So you're posting here, he starts to drive, you're gonna slide right up, okay? And now you have any of those three options. All right, so that's the first thing. Okay, go back. P drives middle. Okay, we're gonna space away, space away. And you're, yep, straight out to the short corner. Again, trying to create a little bit of space because I want to make your defender make a decision. So if you're here and I'm guarding you, and he drives middle because he beat his defender. Now you want to make, again, you want to create space and make me have to make a decision. Am I going to go ahead and stop the ball 
then that's an easy pass to you for a step in and a layup. Am I going to stay a little bit more here and give up this shot? Okay. So we incorporate our post players on that. And again, you can do the same thing. You can go attack, kick. Um, you can have your post player be opposite. So have the ball be here. Your post is opposite. Okay, now when that baseline, so go back. So now when the baseline drive happens, you're filled behind, where do you think you should go? Go ahead, tell me. Where do you think he should go? Right to the front of the rim. Yep. You're going, and you're still in the corner. Yep, right to the front of the rim. Okay? If he had gone middle, then you would step out a little bit to the short corner. Okay? So again, just you do that same string shooting, but now you've incorporated your post player and their slides, and everybody has to move in relation to your post player as well. And then the pass and the kick and everything building out the same as you did with three or four perimeter players. Okay? Thank you, guys. You can go ahead and sit down. Thanks. Um, the other thing, again, we showed a little bit yesterday and can talk about, is incorporating whatever actions you run in your offense. So if you run a dribble handoff, if you run ball screen, if you run off ball cuts, you can start the drill. So we could start with a dribble handoff, have them come off that dribble handoff, and then we're right into our string shooting. Um, again, just working on that. If you run a UCLA cut, you could have them pass, come off a UCLA cut, and then go right into your string shooting. So just be creative. My boss literally comes to me at the beginning of the day, and she'll be like, I want to work on this, this, and this. Can you come up with a string shooting drill to do that? And I'll spend the next hour diagramming how we want to incorporate whatever she just told me into a string shooting drill. Um, but it's good. It challenges me. It challenges our players. Um, and it kind of, you know, it gets us some shots. There, you know, there's no defenders usually, but it gets us some shots and some movement and understanding how to move in relation to other people and how to move in relation to the ball based on what we do offensively. Um, and the more we can put our players in those repetitions and those situations, the better off we're going to be once we go live and add defenders. Okay? So, that all being said in the half court, that's kind of a little bit of the buildup in the, in the half court and how we talk about uh, spacing and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and move it to the full court. Same kind of principles I said at the beginning. Now we're just taking it. So full court uh, spacing, we go lane line to sideline. We go lane line to lane line, lane line to the other sideline. Those are, that's the width of the court in transition or in the full court. And then the depth, the same kind of thing. We're going about the volleyball 10 foot line to the baseline, volleyball line to volleyball line, and then volleyball line to the baseline at the other end of the front court. Okay, we're going that way. Um, so what we talk about in transition. So let's get five guys out with the ball. Here we go. Okay, just five, just one ball, yep. Okay, so for us in transition, again, we want to pass the ball ahead early as often as possible. So we want our point guards to up the ball. Okay, so let's get two wings wide. Ball starts, just hold the ball there. Okay, we got one post running to the rim. Okay, and our other kind of in this trail spot, let's say you rebounded the ball. Okay, so what we talk about, again, Wings as wide as we can get, okay? We want our point guard to be able to make the pass to them over their inside shoulder, okay? So they need to be wide in order for them to be, in order for our point guards to be able to do that, okay? We always want to have somebody running to the rim. Okay, we want, again, like I said at the beginning, we want layups. Layups are good. We like layups, okay? So if we can send somebody hard to the basket, and again, when we send people hard to the basket, that's going to force the defense back, okay? And the more we can force the defense back, now we've just gained all that space, and that's to our offensive advantage, okay? It also helps us in the front court, so now we're starting our offense, hopefully closer to the rim, okay, and closer to the basket, and not allowing that def the defense to take that space back. Okay, so our wings, you guys are going to run. If you don't get the pass ahead, you're running all the way to that deep corner. Okay, so go ahead and get to that deep corner. Ooh, look at that hustle. Okay, you're running to the rim. You're bringing the ball up. Again, if he can pass it ahead, he's passing it ahead. Go ahead, bring the ball up, point guard. Go ahead, dribble it up. Here we go. Okay, and now, we're, now when we're in the front court, 
depending on which side we enter it to. So let's say you raise back up. Go ahead. Okay. Now we're thinking spacing right here. Just spacing concepts to start. Okay. So lane line to sideline. You don't want to be in his spot unless you're going to stay really, really high. Okay. And create space that way. So if you're either going to go high or you're going to go a little bit more to the inside, you have your post player down low. Okay, your spacing on that side is perfect, and then you are again kind of deciding where he is in relation to the spacing on that side, lane line to sideline. Okay, and that's again just general concepts in transition, um, thinking about how we move in relation to other people. Um, we, like I said, we always want to try to up the ball before half court to put pressure on the defense. If not, then we're just entering it into a side, other wings staying uh, deep. So we're, I'm going to show you a quick drill to kind of work a little bit on this and then add a defender. So let's get, I need a guard line here. Guard line, go ahead. I'm going to use everybody. So everybody up. So let's get guard line where the red 28 foot mark is, the red hash mark on the sideline. Okay, another guard line over, let's put you at that hash mark, guard line. And then I need a post line at that end. Actually, I need one post down there and a post line on the sideline here. Ball with me. You can go in either line. So guard-ish line, guard line, and then are you my post-ish line? Okay, so you guys are right there, okay? Coach will be on the baseline, that's me. All right, so you are the point guard line right now, and then you're, you're a defender, okay? So the other thing we want to teach, especially in transition, we want our point guards to receive the pass, whether it's uh, hopefully on, uh, usually on an inbound pass, but hopefully any pass, so off a rebound, is to catch it. What's your name? I can't hear. You got to use your outdoor voice. V? All right. So hopefully I'm going to have V right now. You're going to catch it. So I want you to catch it on a curl. So all of your momentum is going toward where we want to go. Okay. And I'm going to be out of bounds. So you're going to have to catch it right here. Coming to me on his catch. You're taking off. Okay. So we call this the up it drill for lack of a better name, because uh, we're trying to up the ball of the court. Okay. So I'm going to receive the inbound pass. I want to pass ahead. Okay, five, so you're my five, you're coming to the middle. On his catch, you're coming to the middle, and then attack. Okay, so you two are going down two on one. You either have a shot, or if he comes out, you have a pass to your post. You only get one pass, though. Okay, one pass to score. Okay, um, rebound your own shot, go to the other line. Post that was on offense, you go to defense. Defense, you go to the other post line. Does that make sense? We good? Will you grab uh, one more ball for me, please? Just gra throw me another ball. Please. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? You guys ready? We good? All right, here we go. Go, 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 go. Up it. Good. Hang on. Uh, sorry, that was my fault. Post, come in. Actually, let's step in. Step in and start in the middle. Yep. Try to stay like middle of the floor to the left side. So we don't want to use the right side right now. Okay, so who's my post defender? Who was just on offense? There we go. Here we go, ball. Whew. Ready? You ready? Here we go. Go, 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 go. Pass ahead. Good, one pass to score. Here we go, next group, next group. Rotate, rotate, post in, post in. Who's my post defender? Go, go, go. Good, up it, nice. Good. Here we go, rotate, rotate. Who's my defender? Post step in, post, go ahead, step in. Step in, start, start there. You just start there. Sorry, I was talking to him, making sure he started in the right place. Here we go, ready? Go. Pass ahead. Good. Here we go, ball. Go. Ready? Who's my guard? Go, 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 go. Catch it on the curl. Good. Ball. Ball. Go. Good. Good. 
So defense, try to be a little creative. Don't play the same defense every time. Sometimes stay back with the post. Sometimes run hard at the guard. Mix it up a little bit, okay? Here we go. Go ahead. Good, up it. Good, good read, good read. One more, one more. Here we go, you guys. Bring it back. Who's on D? Here you go, ball. Thank you. Oops. All right. Uh, again, you can do this drill on either side, so it's a little bit easier on the other side. I made it a little bit harder for them because they had to bring in the ball up to their left, okay? Um, but just working on getting your wings running. It's kind of simplifying in transition, so getting your wings running wide, getting your point guard catching it on a curl, getting your post to understand, kind of diving hard to the rim and making that two-on-one defender make a decision on whether they're going to go stop the ball or are they going to take away uh, the rim run, okay? Um, so let's, guys, you can sit down. I just need four of you. Quickly. Everybody else can sit. Look at the excitement. They all want to play. They don't even know what we're doing. We could be running sprints right now. And they're not even listening. Rock, paper, scissors? All right. All right. So we're going to, again, so we did four, oh, you guys used to remember uh, string shooting, four person string shooting, okay? So now we're just gonna do that in the full court. So I'm gonna throw the ball off the backboard, okay? You can outlet, actually you can just bring it up. Whoever gets the ball, you're bringing it up, okay? We're running wide on the wings. You can have somebody uh, dive to the rim if you want, or you can just all be on the floor, on the perimeter. You're gonna go kick ahead, okay? So pass ahead, attack, kick, Extra pass, shot. Can you do that? Yes. So I'm going to throw it off the backboard. Whoever gets it, they're going to start the dribble. Everybody else is going to run wide. They're going to pass ahead. Whoever gets the pass ahead, they're attacking the basket. You can attack baseline. You can attack middle, whichever you want. Kick, extra pass, shot. We good? You ready? All right. Here we go. Ball in. Good, good, good. Good. Attack. Good. One more. Shot. Rebound and bring it back. Rebound and rebound and bring it back. Here we go. Good. Good. That's all right. You attack. Good. Now get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Space away. Good. Not bad. Not bad. New four. New four. New four. Quickly. Here we go. Ball. Ready? You guys know what we're doing? Attack. Kick. Extra pass. Shot. Yeah. You sure? All right, here we go. Good. Get wide, get wide, get wide. Tack, kick, stay wide, shot. Rebound and bring it back. Good, stay wide. Good, now get out. Good spacing, good. Ooh, four more, four more, four more. Here we go. All right, this time. This time, we're going attack, kick, attack, kick, shot. So two attacks and then a kick for a shot, okay? Make sure you get wide in transition. Here we go, ball in. Go, 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 go. Ooh, ooh. Attack, attack, kick, shot. Yes. Bring it back, bring it back, same thing. Here we go, here we go. Stay wide, stay wide. Move when the ball moves. Good, good, nice. Last four, last four. All right, this time, this is what we call, this is what we call freestyle. My team likes to call it freestyle. You can do whatever you want, okay? So kick ahead, you can attack, kick, whatever you want. You just gotta get an open shot off a catch, okay? We good? All right, it's your world, here we go. Good, good pass ahead. Good. Okay. Oh. Same thing, same thing. Freestyle back, freestyle back. Not bad, not bad. Finish. 
Good. All right. Good job. Sit down. I'll tell you. So the team, I, I was at one school for three years before I just took the job at Florida International. And that group, my last year there, pretty well trained with the string shooting. Uh, we understood spacing very well. We had very good shooters, which also helps your spacing. The more shooters you have, the better your spacing is going to be. Uh, and they were the ones that came up with the freestyle term. And I got to the new school, and we started working on the string shooting. We were very scripted in our string shooting initially, so we kind of told them where to go, what to do a little bit. Uh, and so I told them one day, I'm like, we're gonna do freestyle. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so this last one, we're freestyle. They had no, like, they looked like they were third graders playing basketball. They got so paralyzed to have to think for themselves, which was good for me as a coach because I then realized that we had been scripting too much. Um, and that we needed to give them a little bit less scripting when we were doing our various string shooting and incorporating it into our offense. Um, but it kind of, it allowed them to have some creativity and you, like I said, it gave me a chance to kind of take a step back and realize that I needed to do that a little bit earlier and a little bit uh, more so in our everyday of the string shooting. So again, taking it to the full court, working on running in transition, um, having them understand and communicate where to go and how to move in relation to each other. So I need eight of you. We're gonna keep building, keep building, okay? And this is just kind of our progression. So I need two here. One more. And then two down at that end on defense to start. Just two, and then the other four here. Okay, so now we're just gonna do what we just did. So four, uh, full court, four person string shooting, but now we've added two defenders. So we've kind of taken that three on two that we did in the half court, and now we're going four on two, so it's a little bit bigger advantage for the offense, but we're adding the full court component. Um, so that's kind of how we balance a little bit. So I'm gonna throw it off the backboard. You guys are gonna get it. You're gonna, same thing we just did, or same thing you did in the three on two. So if you put the ball on the floor, you have to get two feet in the key and then kick. Okay, so the shots have to come off of a catch. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, you, this time though, you can cut and move off the ball. Okay, so if you want to cut and move, you can cut and move. So if you cut and they make a pass to you, you can score off that. You just still can't dribble into a shot. Everybody got that? You guys got that? Because you're going to come back on offense. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. We're going to go down, four on two. You get one shot. Shot goes up. You two and the shooter and the passer are coming back down, four on two here. The other two will stay on defense. Okay, and then we just go four on two continuous. Shooter and passer and two defenders go down, and we just go. Questions? You sure? We're good? All right, I'm gonna throw it off the board. You ready? Offense, you ready? You guys can step off for a sec. All right, here we go, ball in. Go, pass ahead, pass ahead, pass ahead. Good, good. Ooh. If you're open, get a good shot, get a good shot. Good, passer and shooter in defense. Passer, shooter, defense. Grab it and go, grab it and go. Good, good, defense scramble. Good, get two feet on the key. Passer and shooter, passer and shooter in defense. Go, go, go. Wait, you ever shot, you shot, you shot, go. Good, keep it moving. Passer and shooter. I mean, he didn't dribble. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How did we end up with five? Here we go, balance it again. Let's get two on D. Two people on D, four down here, two down here. Okay, so, questions? We good, guys? Okay, do we know what we're doing? So again, if you drive, you gotta get two feet in the key, kick, okay? You can move off the ball, you just can't dribble into your shot. Whoever shoots it, whoever passes to the shooter, you two are going back, are staying on offense. Okay, we good? Yes? We good? He's good, you're good, everybody's good? All right, here you go, ball in. Good. 
Not bad, not bad. Go, 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 go. Shooter and passer, shooter and passer. Attack. Good. Spacing. Keep moving. Good. Good. Good attack. Nice. Good attack. Good cut. Go, 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 go. Who's on D? Go, go, go. Go. Pass shooter and passer. You only get one shot. Spacing. Hold up, hold up. All right, so how, hold on. So guys, how was, how, do, how was our spacing in transition? Not very good, why? Yep, okay. So wings weren't really running wide. We were trying to pass ahead, okay, but our point guard was right there and our wing was here and there's really no space. Again, we want to make the defense guard as much space as possible. So if there's only two defenders, we want to make them scramble a lot. Okay? So let's go last time. All right, I'm down. Go, 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 go. Good. See where you're good, fill behind. Passer and shooter, go. Passer and shooter, passer and shooter. You shot, you shot it. Yeah, you shot it. You should be going on offense. Here we go. Go, go, go. Be ready to shoot that off the catch. Good. Stay, 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 stay. All right. Not bad, not bad. Have a seat. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Good job, good job. I have a lot of confidence that the next time they do that, they'll be much, much more comfortable with it. Um, but that's kind of one of the most advanced we get with the string shooting idea and adding a defender, taking it to the full court, okay, making it a little bit more dynamic and adding more decision-making components and kind of putting it all together without any formal structure as far as an offense or anything like that, okay? Um, so. Basic kind of full court stuff. We're gonna go back to uh, two more half court drills that are small sided games uh, that we use to kind of again work on spacing and cutting and off ball motion and having our players have an awareness. But now it's there's no offensive advantage. Okay, so it's a, it's a three on three and a four on four drill that we do. So it's a little bit more even, but there's still constraints. We add constraints to each of them to hopefully get the players to think about some of the concepts that we want them to think about as far as cutting and moving off the ball. So I need six people, three white, three black. So I need somebody else to go white and then I need one more. Just one. That's fine. All right. Odd or even? Oh, just odd or even. What do you say? I'm asking him. Odd or even? No, just tell. <laughs> odd. It's white ball. That was all it was. Odd or even. So it'll be white ball, whites on offense, black, you're on defense. Here we go. Okay. So. We call this three on three wildcat rules. All right, so here are the rules, guys. You can only receive a pass, you can only catch the ball outside the three point line or on a direct cut to the basket that leads to a layup. Would you like me to say that again? Would you like me to say that again? Okay, three on three, your only rules are you have to catch the ball outside the three-point line or on, a direct cut, or on a direct cut to the basket that leads to a layup. Yes? Okay. If you score, you stay on offense. Okay. If defense gets the ball, you outlet. Either way, you outlet to me. I'll put the ball back in play. Okay. Any questions? We good? All right. Here we go. Ball in. Outlet, outlet, black ball, black ball. Here we go, black ball. White chair on D, white chair on D. Yeah. 
I let, I let. White ball, white ball. Here you go. Where should you go? Where should you go? Nice cut. Turnover. Turnover. It has to lead to a layup, though. You got to shoot that. Yep. Here you go, Paul. Black ball, go. Turnover. Has to lead to a layup. He either has to catch it outside the three-point line or his shot ha or his cut, his pass has to lead to a layup. Okay, here you go, ball in. Ooh, here you go, white ball. Oh, I missed. Ball in. Turnover. Got to catch it outside the three-point line. One other, hey, one other rule. No ball screens right now. No ball screens. You haven't said any, but no ball screens. Here you go. Ball in. Good cut. Good cut. That's all right. Good cut. Twenty-four shot clock's probably gone off by now. Good kick. Nice. White ball, white ball, white ball. I let, I let. Ball in. Nice. Good. Good. Here you go, black ball. Good cut. Oh, another good cut. So it'll be white ball. So you guys, I hear a lot of talking over there. What do you see? What can they do? You have a question. What's your question? Yes. I told you the three rules. No ball screens. They have to catch outside the three-point line. And the, their, if they receive a pass, it has to be on a direct cut to the basket that leads to a layup. Yes? Any other questions? Thoughts? What else? What else can they do to get open? Cut? What else? What? Backdoor cut? Off ball screens. Have we set an off ball screen? Has anybody set a, an off ball screen? You did? Oh, okay. I missed it. Okay. So, for everybody, the reason why we do this, again, okay, we want our cuts to have a purpose, okay? So if, and we talk, you guys have done a pretty good job, but for some reason, our players love to make this cut right here, and we like to pass it to them right here, or we like to pass it to them right here, which are not great shots, okay? So we want the passer to be aware of where they're passing to their teammate. And two, we want the cutter to be aware of where they're making their cut. So instead of making this cut, we should make this cut and try to stop and hold off our defender in this area so we can shoot a layup instead of a five foot shot. Okay, plus again, that gives the defense more time to recover and make that a contested shot. 
Um, the other reason, they have to catch it outside the three-point line because a lot of times players will penetrate and kick and then they'll just hang out wherever they penetrated. So they'll penetrate, they'll get into key, or they'll get into this gray area, they'll make a pass, and then they'll stay here, and that hurts our spacing. So they got to get outside the three-point line if they're going to receive the next pass. Um, and it hopefully, once they get a little bit more comfortable, it helps them kind of understand that. So let's go ahead. Let's try it again. White ball. Good. Get outside. Get out. Get out. Get out. Spray, space out. Good. Screen and get out. Nice. Better. 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 Good idea. Good passes. Look at the rim. Good. Good attack. Probably a foul. Here we go. Black ball. Black ball. Better. Here we go. Hang on. Even if he caught it, what was it going to be? Even if he had caught the pass, it was going to be a turnover because he was not on a cut to the basket. Here we go. And his shot was probably not better than yours. Ball in. Look at the basket. Black ball, black ball. Last possession. Here we go, black. Who's here? Ball in. Corner, corner. Got to make sure we have somebody in the corner on that drive. Good finish. Um, good job. You guys can sit down. Thank you. So again, uh, working on uh, the things we talked about, some ways to kind of add to, I don't know if you guys noticed, but some of their bad habits, uh, they didn't always look at the basket. So on the catch, if they don't look at the rim, that's a turnover. Uh, there were a lot of one dribble, so dead, I call it dead dribble or wasted dribbles. So they'd catch and they'd go like this and wouldn't go anywhere. So we could make that a turnover. Um, we play a lot of one second and two second rule games. So on the catch, they have one second or two second at the coach's discretion to make a decision. So the catch, they either got to shoot, drive, or pass in that one second. Otherwise, it's a turnover. That, again, becomes a little bit more advanced depending on what age you're working with. But just some ways you can kind of, you know, once they get more comfortable with the drill and the spacing and you feel good about it um, and they are, you know, kind of understanding those concepts, you can just keep building out and changing changing the dynamics to work on what your team needs. We're going to go one last drill in honor of Canada. It's four on four Canada rules because I stole it from Canada. So you may have seen it before. And if not, I hope you like it. Okay, I need eight guys. Four white, four black. Actually, move that one down. Sorry, it's too high. All right. So, guys, you have to think. So right now, these markers divide the court into six quadrants. Okay? So here, basically, you have to imagine this is one quadrant. So this is one square. Okay? This from here to there, across, up to there. That's your second square. And then you two are in the third square, so there. And then you have the next three are here, here to sideline, this middle square, and then that square. You guys with me so far? Okay. Six squares, six quadrants, okay? You are playing four on four. No two offensive players can be in the same square at the same time, okay? You cannot cut over a cone or marker to get to a different quadrant. So if the ball's there and you're here and I'm here and he starts to dribble toward you, go ahead. Okay, you can't run across there to get to that square. Does that make sense? You can't run over it. That, you guys good with that? 
you have to figure it out. That's what you have to do. <laughs> you just can't have no two offensive players can be in the same square at the same time. Okay? Uh, you're trying to score. Other than that, it's four on four. Obviously, there are no ball screens because you would be in the same quadrant. And there are no off ball screens. Um, the only time that two players can be is on an off or on a shot. You can offensive rebound. Everybody can go to the basket. Okay? Questions? They, they don't have questions. All right. Ready? White ball. Get to a square. Where are you? Where are you at? See, we already broke it. <laughs> now, are you good? Are you sure? We sure? You good? Okay. There you go. Ball in. Good cut. Good cut. Turnover! You two were in the same square. My two, my two tall guys, you're in the same square. When he drove, when he drove, you cut right into that square. Black ball, black ball. Black ball. White's your ID. White's your ID. Here you go. Ball in. Match up, match up. Out, out, white ball, white ball, quickly. White ball, white ball. Get to a square, get to a square. Good. Good cut. Hang on, turnover, turnover. You, you cut over it. You cut over it and you came into his square. You can't cut over or drive over or move over. Here you go, ball in. Turnover! You two are in the same square. We're struggling. Here you go, ball in. White ball, white ball, white ball. Match up, match up, ball in. Where should you go? Still fell behind. Here you go, black ball, black ball, defense ball. Woo! Grab another ball for me. <laughs> Too old to go run and get that. Here you go, black ball, black ball. Oh, thank you. Ready? Ball in. Just give yourself some space. Good. Good cut, good cut. Good. There you go, better. Turnover. You two in the same square. You two in the same square. You cut into his square. Ball. Ooh, that was close. That was close, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Here we go. Black ball, black ball. Here we go. Do nothing. Three, two, three. Get out, get out. Ooh, turnover. You two in the middle. In the middle. Here you go. Ball, ball. White ball, white ball. The circle thing. Good move, good move. Hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna talk for a second. All right, so, two minutes? All right, we'll, we'll finish it with you. I'll give you guys one more chance at it. So, the key is, like you talked about, you're always gonna have, an, there's gonna be at least two open squares. So you want to try to leave an open square next to the ball to give the ball handler a little bit of uh, area to work. And then you still can play with your string shooting concepts. So let's say the ball's there and you drive, go ahead, hang on, and you drive, okay, you're moving with him, and once he gets out of that square, you can go into this area and fill behind, you can be here, you can be in the corner. It's the same thing we just did, right, with the string shooting, I just told you now had squares, okay, and if you kick it out, so let's say, go ahead, give it to him, pass it out to somebody, okay, now, 
you just have to be aware of where you relocate. So yeah, if you go ahead and fill into that square, you can cut right back up the middle. You can stay in your square. Or if he had moved here, then you would pop right back out. Okay? You just kind of have to think about how to create an open square and then still move in relation to where everybody else is. So you got one minute. I'm going to give you guys one more minute. Figure it out. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're tying a shoe. All right. Go ahead. Start with the ball there. Ball in. Ball in. Good. Good. Nice, nice. See the pass. When the defense rotates, when you draw help, see the kick. Here we go. Block ball. Block ball. Go, go, go. Good. You take it. Talk. Turnover. Two in the key. Two in the key. Here we go. White ball. Last possession. White. Last possession. Ball in. Good. Good. Play. Oh. Uh, we can't end on a turnover. Last possession. Got 24 on your clock. Oh, good cut. Nice cut. Good. Nice. Good fill. There we go. Oh, that would have been brilliant. That was a great possession, Black. Good. So have a seat. Good job, you guys. Thank you. They got the hang of it. They started to get a little bit better. Um, so again, oh, if you want, that would be great. Thank you. Such a nice, such a nice young man. Uh, so again, just putting it all together in the small-sided game, three on three, four on four, making it, again, I like small-sided games. You get more, uh, more repetitions, more ball contacts, um, more decisions that can be made for the players. Um, that's it. I'm done. I talked myself out. I didn't even save time for questions. I'm sorry. <laughs> Two minutes? I have two minutes for questions. Yeah. Yes. Um, I hope we just put them on the line because they're Division One basketball players. Um, but you know, we don't want to make it a negative. But again, just trying to find. One, as a coach, I just kind of keep talking and hope it becomes contagious. I try to talk individually with our players that do talk a little bit more um, and kind of try to empower them. So we have three or four that naturally, and there were a couple in this group that you could see naturally talked a little bit more and try to encourage them to talk with their teammates and kind of make it a peer thing. Um, you know, and hope that it becomes a little bit more infectious. But I think, again, it's what you emphasize. So if that's something that you want to emphasize, it just has to be constantly getting on them. Um, you could find maybe ways within some of the drills to reward it. So maybe, you know, depending on what you're doing, you could add, you know, they get an extra point if everybody talks. If everybody, you know, on the string shooting, if everybody communicated on that repetition and they made the shot, they get one more extra point. Um, and just kind of try to find ways to reward it whether, rather than being negative. Maybe I'll use that idea with our two c files <laughs> instead of just putting them on the line. Um, but that's kind of what I would think, so. Um, somebody asked me this yesterday, I think, as well. So, or as early as possible. And we empower our point guards, so like our point guards can make most of the calls. So as soon as she receives the outlet, she should be calling what we're in. So whether it's a made basket or a missed basket, as soon as she has the ball in her hands, she should be calling the action and everybody should be echoing it um, so that we're all on the same page. So if we're running three, she's calling three up the court. Um, and if for some reason we can't make that entry, then we adjust and maybe she calls another action or another entry. But as long as they, everybody echoes and we're all on the same page, but as early as possible, yeah. If I'm adding a post player, as far as uh, 
in the drill, I would. He could still come high post. He would just have to be a little bit high. Like, so I think the grid was here, and he could still come like to this high post area and still have a low post player. Um, that's how I would adjust it. I've never thought about being able, I mean, you probably could. I've never done it just because we play a four out one in system. Um, and so we don't want necessarily that area really crowded. And if we do bring a post player high into this area, we want them a little bit above the free throw line. So that would be in the grid anyway. Um, but I mean, depending, like I said, if you, depending on what you run and kind of what you want to do, it might be something possible. I, th I think it would be kind of hard though. Uh, but you could still, yeah, I just don't, we don't, wouldn't want two players running to that same low post position basically or cutting into where the low post already is. That's more of the point. So I think that's probably my two minutes. So thank you very much. Uh, appreciate it.